Hey YouTube! <laughs> Got a new wind turbine! What kind of wind turbine is that? <gasps> is that a high energy? I think it is! Decided to try something a little different. We're gonna try the high energy HY1000L model. I can't get it on that tag. Won't zoom. It won't focus because it's looking at the trees behind it. Now, there we go. See, I don't know if you can see it with the blades turning. It does say the bottom of the picture there. Let's see if we can do it again. 1000L. Why is that not focusing? Quit looking at the tree. Oh, I know why. Oh, the camcorder doesn't work like the smartphone does when you tap it, it'll, it'll focus. But uh, I don't really have much wind today. It's just kind of like a light breeze. So I'm not really getting much production out of it right now. But this is the 48 volt model. Many reasons why I chose the 48 volt model. Oh, look at now, show the wind now picks up. Good. Um, I don't know. Had an opportunity to purchase this, so I did. It's a genuine high. And I haven't had any wind except for today since I put it up. I've had it up for oh, three or four days now. I ordered it couple of weeks ago I had it here delivered in like three days four days I think it was five days including the weekend it was here um, yeah 48 volt model five blade HY 1000 L the newest model the newest version of this model, I guess. I think it was, I think the tag on it said it was manufactured in February, March. It might even be later than that, I don't remember, but it's it's not that old. And the box is in great shape, so it wasn't damaged in shipping. Now, I did not get the charge controller with this. I opted out for that, because I don't know if I'm gonna continue grid tie, or if I wanna eventually use it for charging a 24 volt battery bank. I don't know. I haven't decided on that yet. That's why I opted out for the charge controller or the grid die inverter. But I just wanted to uh, make a quickie video here. And this pole is a new pole. Brand spanking new pole. New guy wires with turn bucks so I can or turn buckles so I can adjust them. And I also yeah I know there's moss on my roof. I don't care. This roof is getting changed eventually anyway. See, I got the eyelets in the ground, or in the rafters, with the shackle. And a nice stainless, stainless steel, everything. Turnbuckle, and then 3 16 cable, all the way up to the center of the pole. Same exact location as the Windy Nation. I still have the Windy Nation, and I'm going to keep the Windy Nation. I'm actually going to put that up in a different spot. I just haven't decided where yet. Once I do, it'll be great. It will be freaking awesome. But that's it. HY1000. L. Don't forget that L. Beautiful, beautiful turbine. Five blades, nose cone. It is a little bit dirty though, because my hands kind of had some scunge on them when I was up there installing it. And I haven't had any real winds. But as you can see, it's by the trees in the background, it's not really, it's just like a light breeze. The trees are barely even moving. But I'm hoping we get some more wind. We're supposed to get a little bit of wind this weekend, or 
this week sometime. So if we do, I'll get out here with the camera and hopefully get some power readings off of it. But right now, the only thing I have it hooked up to is my 22 to 60 volt inverter. It does not like the 10 to 30 volt inverter at all. Because it is a 48 volt model, it does overvolt it very quickly. So I'm not even going to bother using it. Um, well, then again, I can't really say that for sure because I haven't had any real winds to test it. But, uh, I did a completely revamp on the setup when I put this one up. It's a new, to new tower, painted it black, it's flat black, oh, still can't see it. Flat black tower, two inch, schedule 40. And the outside diameter of that pipe is like two and three eighths, two inches, two and three eighths inches, something like that. Give or take a 32nd of an inch. Um, I mean, it is generating some juice, but there's just, the wind is so fluctuating, it's not even, there's not enough power behind the wind, it's just enough to turn it. Uh, and I got new guy wires, I got the guy wire anchors on the pole, they're actually welded. So yeah, I'm going to give you a little look see at that. See, this camera does not like to, there we go. Those are the guy wire anchors. There's a third one on the other side. They're all 120 degrees from each other. No, that other one is not lower. It just looks lower because of the angle I'm at. <clears throat> um, so a brand new pole all the way down to the roof. At the roof cap, everything's sealed with uh, roofing tar. Yeah, you can see it's slowing down, because the winds just aren't enough today. Not right now. I mean, they're starting to pick up a little bit, so I'm hoping. This thing tracks the wind so nicely. It's amazing. It looks really good. I got a lot of compliments on it before I put it up. I mean, everybody here in the house is like, wow, that's a nice-looking turbine. Um, and they also uh, changed the wiring, too. Before I had the 12 gauge wire, the extension cord coming down from the Windy Nation. And now I actually have number 8 wire coming straight down from the bottom of the slip ring through the pole into the rectifier. And up in the attic I actually have it running through uh, some conduit to kind of clean it up a little bit. Number 8 THHN wire. Stranded. Good stuff. Simple is the brand I believe. Because it's got that like, that coating on the jacket, <clears throat> so when you're pulling it, it actually pulls really smooth against itself and through everything. Good shit. But uh, I'll come back once I get some more wind that are actually worth filming. That tree behind it makes that tower look crooked. Even though it's not. Okay, but I'll be back. Wait for some wind.